Bryophyter. Introduction. The green growth in the damp, moist places during rainy season is the tiny plants of the group Bryophyta. These may be in the form of crowded plants, giving velvety touch, or may be circular, flat, leaf-like growths. Funaria is the main plant which is commonly found in the velvet form growth and is called green moss. Plants of this group are very short and found all over the world. Bryophytes are amphibious plants that live both on land and in water. They do not have vascular tissues like xylem and phloem. Occurrence Bryophytes commonly occur on moist and shady places such as moist walls, wet soils, damp pieces of wood, on wet tree trunks, damp rocks, on river banks and on banks of pools. Some species are found in water. Some species of bryophytes are epiphytes and some are saprophytes. Habits The main plant is called gametophyte. It produces gametes for propagation of the rays. It is green thallus as in marchantia or it may be differentiated into rhizoids, stem-like structure and leaf-like structure. Example, funaria. Both the type of gametophytes are attached to substratum with the help of rhizoids which may be unicellular or multicellular. These perform the function of absorption of water and minerals. These plants lack vascular tissue. The length of the plants vary from a few millimeters to several centimeters. All the cells of the plant contain chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is not found in rhizoids. Due to the presence of chlorophyll, they manufacture their own food. General characteristics of bryophyta. Bryophytes are characterized by the following features. The life cycle of bryophytes have two generations. These are gametophytic generation, sporophytic generation. The gametophytic plant body is the main plant and long-lived phase of the life cycle. The gametophyte is independent, small, green, thalloid. It is differentiated into rhizoids, stem and leaves. There is no true root in bryophytes. In place of roots, rhizoids of unicellular or multicellular nature are developed in the gametophytic plant body. They lack vascular tissues, namely xylem and phloem. The male sex organ is called antheridium and the female sex organ is called archegonium. The antheridium is a club-shaped structure which is produced by mature plant. Bicellated antherozoids are produced by antheridium. Archegonium is a flask-shaped structure. Water is essential for the act of fertilization. The fertilized egg is the first cell of the sporophytic generation. It is retained with the venter of the archegonium. The zygote, by repeated divisions, becomes a multicellular embryo. The sporophyte is the reproductive organ of the bryophyte plant body. The sporophyte is completely dependent on the gametophyte for its nutrition. The spores are of only one type. If the spores fall on suitable substratum, they develop into a gametophytic plant body. Marchantia Habit and Habitat The genus is represented by about 65 species. 11 species are found in India. It is worldwide in distribution. The most common Indian species 
is M. polymorpha. It is distributed in hilly regions. The genus grows luxuriantly in moist, shady places, in open woodlands, or on shaded cliffs. External structure Structure of the gametophyte The thallus is prostrate, dorsoventrally flattened, and dichotomously branched. It is found on the surface of the substratum in the form of a rosette and is closely attached to it by means of rhizoids arising on the ventral side. Rhizoids also serve the function of absorption of water and salt. The brownish ventral surface of the thallus has scales and rhizoids which are irregularly arranged. The rhizoids are unbranched unicellular structures. They are of two types, the smooth-walled or simple and the tuberculated. The smooth-walled rhizoids penetrate into the soil and absorb water. The tuberculated rhizoids are narrow and sometimes form a dense tuft in a midventral region. The scales are present in definite rows from the beginning and are not produced into two rows by splitting as in Rikia. In M. polymorpha, the scales are in three to four rows on either side of the midriff. Of these, the innermost scales are larger and wedge-shaped, while the median and marginal are smaller. The thalli are conspicuous and when mature, often reach a length of 10 centimeters. The branches of the thallus is notched. The growing point lies in between the two lobes of the notch. Along the midrib, characteristic, prominent, cup-shaped structure, the gemma cups, are present. These cups enclose asexual reproductive bodies called gemme. In reproductive stages, thalli also bear small stocked structures called antheridiophores and archegoniophores, which bear antheridia and archaeogonia respectively. Vegetative reproduction It takes place by the following methods. By the progressive death and decay of older portions of the thallus. By adventitious branches which develop on the ventral side. They lose connection with the parent plant by death and decay of the connecting portion. By the production of special structure called gemme, these are produced in gemme cups on the dorsal side along the midrib. Each gemma is attached to the thallus by means of one celled stalk. Each gemma is a multicellular, vertically oriented, bilaterally symmetrical discoid body. The body is several cells thick in the middle and one layered at the margins. It has two notches in the middle. There are present rhizoidal cells and oil cells in the central portion of the gemma body. When the gemma falls on the substratum, cell division begins at the notches and two plants are consequently formed. Sexual reproduction. Marchantia is dioecious. The male and female plants can be easily identified due to antheridiophore, male, and archaeogoniophore, female. These are special stocked branches. The antheridiophore bears male sex organs, the antheridia, and the archaeogoniophore bears female sex organs, the archaeogonia. The receptacle of antheridiophore is lobed and the antheridia are embedded on the upper surface of each lobe. Antheridia Antheridia are present in acropetal succession with the younger ones 
near the growing point. There are air chambers with pores between the cavities containing antheridia. Each antheridium is an ovoid or nearly conical structure. It has a short multicellular stalk. This stalk attaches the antheridium with the base of the antheridial chamber. The body of the antheridium is covered by a single layer of thick walled cells, jacket. The body consists of mass of androcyte cells, which later metamorphose into antherozoids. When ripe, the wall of the antheridium ruptures and numerous biflagellate spermatozoids or antherozoids are liberated in a drop of water. Archegonia The receptacle of archegoniophore is divided into finger-like lobes or rays and the archegonia at first develops on the upper surface but due to growth of the central portion of the upper side the archegonia becomes inverted with neck downwards. Archegonia are produced in acropetal succession. Each archegonium is flask-shaped with a short multicellular stalk. It is differentiated into a basal distended more or less rounded venter and a long slender neck. The venter encloses a single large egg and a ventral canal cell. The neck is composed of six vertical rows of cells with four to six neck canal cells. Its tip is protected by four cover cells. At maturity, neck canal cells and ventral canal cell degenerate. The mucilaginous substance, which is produced by the degeneration of the cells, absorbs water and swells that separates the cover cells apart.